What is going on, you lot? This is Bodhi. If you're watching Silly Shades, and today I'm going to tell you three best transitions that you need to know in 2019. Let's do this. So, without wasting any time, let's get into the first transition, and that is a match cut. Now, in a match cut or a match transition, two clips are cut on a basis of similar action. or similar camera movement now match cut has unlimited possibilities guys you can use it in so many ways you can create your own ways match cuts can be used in your short films i'll just take an example of the scene from game of thrones when there is this gross scene of one character curing other character skin and piercing it to it which is followed by another character in some other location eating a pie which looks very gross in game of thrones they use a lot of match cuts so you can also use these match cuts in your short films also you can use match cuts in your youtube videos or casual vlogs for example say i bought of this t-shirt so this way you can change your t-shirt or get some glasses on and that's how you can use your match cut in various ways depending on your creativity in your vlogs or youtube videos so we'll be working with these two footages in the first clip i end with pulling my t-shirt and the second clip i start with pulling my t-shirt and then continue by rest of the video so i'll be cutting in between of the pull in both the clips so here the action is pulling the t-shirt and then i'll be joining these clips together and then play it and due to the action it will look really seamless they are very easy to make you just need the proper planning to make a perfect batch cut now let's get rid of these glaze that's better now the next transition is my most used and most favorite transition that is a speed ramp transition and if you don't know what speed ramp transition is it is basically the first clip goes very slow and immediately the speed increases and the cut happens here and the second clip starts with a very high speed and then slows down and this creates a very seamless cut because audience is not able to notice when the cut just happened because it was so fast so in the speed ramping transition first what we'll do is right click on this fx icon on both the clips and select time remapping and then select speed and then we'll get this line and we'll bring down this line to 40% so our speed becomes 40% and we'll do the same to the next clip here as it's a 60 fps clip i'm bringing it down to 40% and then i'll click on the pen tool and at the end of the first clip around here say i can mark and i'll be selecting the selection tool and from here i want the clip to speed up so around 3 260% looks good to me and i'll extend it a bit and in the second clip around here i'll take the pen tool and mark and from here i want the slow motion to start so this part i'll speed up to around same around 260% and then i'll join these two clips and this will look like this also you can fade out these bars by clicking here to make the change of the speed happen gradually After doing this you might have to adjust the transition to the music that's what i recommend and this is how you can get a smooth speed ramping transition now if you mix this with a match cut that i told you earlier so this will create a very amazing and a seamless transition so if you want to learn how to do this transition in the perfect way you can click on the link here or you can also go to the link in the description i have a full in depth tutorial of this transition the third transition and it is also one of my favorite transitions is the masking transition you have to spend more time editing on this transition but the final result is worth it so masking transitions like the other two transitions has unlimited possibilities you can use your creativity and do this transition it can be used to seamlessly go from one location to another so yeah you need a subject to cover your frame with for example say a person is covering up a frame and going you can also ask a friend to go across a frame or you can use a pillar or a tree as a subject to go across a frame So in this transition we have our lifeguard jeep and our camera following the lifeguard jeep 
and then this guy crossing the frame completely so we'll be using this particular guy for our transition now what i'll be doing is i'll be going to effect controls opacity and clicking on the pen tool here and this will create a mask and i'll toggle the animation for the mask path now somewhere in the middle i'll be making a mask around this person I'll be doing it around the person's back because I want a transition in the way that the person passes the frame and then the transition happens behind him. Now I'll be clicking the inverted button so the mask is inverted this way and now I'll be doing this for each and every frame so I'll be clicking the right arrow key. I'll be changing the mask for each and every frame and I'll be like maybe zooming in and perfecting the mask so i'll be going forwards and backwards and perfecting the mask as the man moves and then when you are finally done with the mask path it should look somewhat like this then you can place this clip on the video track too and place another clip right now we are using this clip of these children eating corn and then we can put this below this clip and see how smoothly it transitions. This takes a lot of time but the final result is very cool. So masking transition as I said has unlimited possibilities and you have to be creative for that. So if you like the video hit the like button, if you love the video hit the subscribe button and if you hit the subscribe button why not hit the notification icon to get notified every time I upload a video and I'll see you guys in the next one.